What up, Ma? Hi, here back again with a new video. Today I'll be doing my week 14 picks. Um, yeah, I gotta try to find... I'm not gonna do the odds anymore because it just annoys me. I'm not a gambler. Fuck gambling. Don't do it. Play responsibly, though, if you do it. Um, I need the fucking spread, too. I need, like, the spread pick, but... Um, I'm not going to go over every odds because it's stupid. I fucking hate gambling and uh, it just extends the video longer than it is. Alright, anyway. First game was, is this the third? No, Sunday. Um, Thursday game, alright, let's start off with the Thursday game. Raiders and Rams, Battle of LA, technically, because the Raiders are more known for being in LA than Las Vegas. But Yeah, there's going to be a lot of Raider fans there. The, the the Rams just stink. Obviously, I'm rooting for the Rams, but give me the Raiders to win. I don't think pretty convincingly, kind of 27-10. I just think their roster is less devastated. They're on a little run, which I said they were going to be on. And the um, the Rams signed Baker Mayfield, which is funny. So yeah, the Rams are down bad. All right, so yeah. Alright, so uh, Jaguars and Titans. Yeah. Jags, not a good game against the Lions. Titans, to, they got killed by the Eagles. I know the Eagles are good, but come on. I think they'll have a bounce-back game. I don't know why they fired their GM. I think they'll have a bounce-back game. Kind of close. Weird score. 28-19 uh, in Tennessee. They need to win the bounce-back. You know, Their division's kind of easy. Next game, Buffalo Bills and uh, New York Jets. Um, yeah, I think the Bills this time win. I, Mike White, he kept it close against the, the Vikings, but I think the Bills really need this. Now they're in first place in the AFC, thanks to the Bengals. Um, I think the Bills win. Uh, I think it'll be a defensive game. You know, I think Josh Allen's going to be a little bit slowed down. But I got the Bills winning 21-13 in a defensive game. So, yeah. Um, Bengals and Browns. Deshaun Watson's back. It'll be Burrow versus Watson. Ooh, college boys or whatever. Ah, fuck. The Browns are going to win. Um, Bengals just beat the Chiefs. Uh, and uh, this, that's it. Bengals beat the Chiefs. And, uh, yeah. And Joe Burrow is going to have another fucking W and finally beat the Browns. So, if the Browns beat the Bengals, and uh, like, I'm never picking the Bra Bengals again versus the Browns next year. So, I have to write that down in my fucking head. Um, Ravens and the Steelers. Ravens do not have Lamar because he got injured against us. Um, last week he didn't play good anyway, but still it, it sucks that Lamar's out for a few weeks and now it's gonna be Tyler Huntley uh, They didn't look impressive against the Broncos to be honest They should have ran ran away with that game because they're playing the Denver Broncos even with, with Tyler Huntley They played better with Tyler Huntley He's, like their their offensive line played better But give me the Steelers in the vict. I think they'll split but give me the Steelers to win this game at home in a close defensive game. Steelers are not tanking. Steelers win by a field goal. 23-20. Alright, so Dolphins and Chargers should be a good game. Give me the Dolphins. They need a bounce back win. Chargers are a bunch of chokers. Um, yeah. Chargers are a bunch of chokers. And, uh, you know, that's how they are. And um, I think the Dolphins get back on their feet. Tyree Kill owns the ch Chargers again. And, um, yeah, give me in a shootout, kind of. 28-27. Game-winning touchdown. Tua throws it to Waddle in the corner. Um, next game is my lock of the week. Give me the Chiefs to win. Uh, shockingly close because they just want to fucking kill me. 26-17. Why not? Chiefs win by 9, 26-17. We actually put up 17 points, I think, because uh, Chiefs' defense is um, 
It's not the again that we keep talking about every year. Like they're clutch, you know, in moments, but they're like overall they stink as a defense. So yeah, but I got the Chiefs winning this game. Lock of the week. That's it. You know, I don't think it will be the biggest blow of the week. I just think it's my lock because this is the most guaranteed win ever. Give me the Chiefs lock of the week. Um, I gotta check the odds for the damn uh, upsets and the spread. So I gotta pick an upset or else, uh, you know, I'm dead. The Steelers are favored. Oh my god. All right. Um. Yeah. The Tex. Uh. Cowboys will win the Battle of Texas. I think they get a shutout. They win thirty-four nothing. I think their defense plays good. Uh, Texans are trash. They're tanking forever. Um. You know. They don't really care. I. The Texans are basically a lock for the number one overall pick, but they just want to keep. They want to secure it. You know. Because the Seahawks may get the number one overall pick at this point, you know. But we beat the Texans, so not really. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, give me the give me uh, the Cowboys winning 34 nothing. What's the card? Cardinals and Patriots. I have to pick upset. Give me the Cardinals at home. I think they're due. Patriots didn't look that good against the Bills. They got Schmeckeldorfed. Um... They're coming off of by the Cardinals. So, you know, I think this will be a close game in the desert. Give me the Cardinals winning 24, I mean 27-24. Um, Kyler Murray actually has a good game. All right, so Vikings and Vikings and Lions. Lions had a big win against the uh, Jaguars last week. They put up a shitload of points, something I never saw with the Broncos this year. Um... Yeah, and the Lions are their favorite minus 2.5, which is weird. I get they're at home, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a one o'clock game. Kirk Cousins, you know, this is when he thrives the most. So I think it'll be close. I think. Don't get me wrong. It'll be a close game. I. I think they'll win 27. 25. I think a safety's in the. Kirk Cousins gonna take a safety. Because I think that's just weird, you know. Alright, Eagles and the uh, Giants. Hey, Eagles are favored by seven. I think that's a lot, but I'm taking the fucking spread. This is my spread. Eagles win in a, a close game. 17-10. Uh, Why not? Defensive only. Defensive battle. No one scores. Gring grind. And I think the Eagles running game versus the Cow uh the Eagles running game versus the um Giants running game, just grit, grind, whatever. So yeah, give me the Eagles seventeen to ten. I think both offenses go asleep and both defenses thrive this game. Um Alright, next game, Buccaneers and the uh Niners. But uh, Niners are fair to three and a half, even though they have Brock Purdy instead of uh, Garoppolo at quarterback. Uh, give me Tom Brady on the road. Give me Bucket Brady. Help us out. Come on, Tom. Help us out with the picks. I got um, Buccaneers winning 27-14. I mean, 24-14 um, on the road. Tom Brady's home uh, town team. He may go there. You know, you never know. Tom Brady may go to the Niners next year, but I'm kidding. But um, he should retire. But I think the Buccaneers are gonna win. They they got momentum after the FTX. You know, Tom Brady dumped FTX. Um, and uh, you know, got clutch drive, and uh, by Brady against the Saints, it was more of a Saints collapse. But yeah, so you need the Buccaneers to win 24-14. Last game, I don't even know if this is the Sunday night game. I don't know which one's the Sunday night game this week. Um, no, oh wait. the uh, This game was flexed. The uh, Dolphins and Chargers, I think, was flexed to Sunday night. So, good. Thank God. It used to be the Broncos and Chiefs, but thank God that game's flexed. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm not making a Broncos preview. Just recap, so I'm done with previews. It's boring. I keep saying the same shit over and over again. Oh, Broncos are going to lose. So, yeah. All right. 
Panthers, Seahawks, give me the Seahawks to win this game. 27 to 10. I don't know. I still think the Panthers suck. So those are my picks for week 14. That's it.